In this video, I will be talking about how you can add custom fields to your Shopify products page with the Shopify Light Item property. So in this tutorial, I will be building a personalized t-shirt page that the customer can upload their own text and define the text position of it and also they can upload their own image so they can be printed in the t-shirt. So that's it for right now and let's get started. So in this video, I will be using the Shopify default theme. The first thing we need to do is click action and uh, you can create a duplicated version of the current Shopify theme that you have and uh, edit the code and after that published. So I am, I will be using in this tutorial, the, the live team. After that, I will click under the, under the template folder. I will choose edit new template and select product and you can name it like custom for for instance so each shopify team has different structure in this uh, team so we have like a, the section which called the product template is uh, the one that have the products page so this is the product template so i will go to the product and so i will choose this simple t-shirt and choose the products those custom and save it and save it so i will preview it right now so we don't so we have like a, the shopify default page so after that i will go to this tool that will generate the light item property so for example so you can choose the text it will be short or long so you can have like a some radio button you have like a drop down menu and checkbox so i will select the first thing it's text short and search for so i will search for end forum so as you can see i have it right now and i will add the text field before the submit button so we have this button that submit and we have like a two div before it and i will paste it here so i will make like a space between two to differentiate it So if we go to our demo product, as you can see, we have it here. So we have your t-shirt text. And when I add it to the cart, I have it here. So we have the field label and the, the field value. And if I go to the checkout, So we have it here in the checkout page. So right now we have the order is confirmed. So if I go back to the order list, so I have it right there. So we have the text field 
label and uh, the value. So we can add more things. So I will add like a drop down menu. So we can call it your text position. Left, right. So you need to add the comma and the to, to have another value. So we have it like that, like this. So we have it left, right, and center. So I will grab the code and paste it in the same position as the one before. So if I refresh, so as you can see here, we have the text position and the text field. So I will add another field. So I will your image, for example, and copy the code and I will go back. So I will change the type from text to file. So I can choose any type of file. So for example, I will I will select this one and if I add and the text position is right. And we have our image URL here in the cart page. And if we go to the checkout, so if I go back to the order, So this is our text field and text position and the image has been downloaded. So you can upload any, any type of uh, file. So for example, I will upload a PDF. As you can see here in the latest order. So we have our PDF, so we can download it from there. So we have, uh, so in this uh, demo store, I have two products. So I have example t-shirt and example pants. So the example pen doesn't have the products that custom. So if we go here, we can see our text field. So in order to only show it if we have the products to custom, so I will add this code. So I you can you can grab it from the description. And, and if after the last one. So, so as you can see here, we have the example band. So we don't have the text field. And if I go back and check the example t-shirt, so we have the text field. So that's it for my first YouTube video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like for this video. And also if you have any question or comment about this video or any uh, uh, Shopify dev related thing, just leave it in the comment section and I will be more, more than happy to answer it for you as soon as possible. And thank you.